The swamp just bounced Trump into a European-style assault on free speech. Many Americans don't seem to appreciate as much as an outside admirers do. The United States is the only country in the world with committed to free speech enshrined in the nation's constitution. Many nations do not even have a qualified constitution of which to speak. Which is why it's almost more in danger to the outside that the Americans are such a protection under assault. Not just the street of Berkeley or Charlottesville, but in your legislature and soon in your Oval Office. This afternoon, the White House Press Secretary Sarah Huckabee Sanders confirmed President Trump would absolutely be signing a resolution drafted by the Republicans and Democrat lawmakers condemning hatred. He and Senator Tim Scott talked about and discussed and agreed that there was an appropriate place to be, Sanders said, in terms of which he'll, whether or not he'll sign or the joint a resolution, Absolutely, and he looks forward to doing soon as possible. Or as soon as he receives it, sorry. But the resolution is manifestly a ruse. The first line of attack is the new wave of assaults against free speech in America. Let's examine what the motion passes by both legislative chambers early this week. It's presumable in the addition to expressing support for the Charlotteville community, demands the president and he rejects white nationalists, white supremacists and the Ku Klux Klan, clear Nazis, and other hate groups, there's the key word, and urges him to use his cabinet to use all available resources to address the threats posed by those groups. From the outside, this seems disingenuous and troublesome. The president has already disavowed these groups, including neo-Nazis and the KKK. Why are the elected members alongside the White House wasting time virtually signalling over it? Perhaps because it backs POTUS into a corner, especially when you consider many established media organisations call his former chief strategist Stephen K. Banning, who has mocked and delured ethno-nationalists, might be mispronouncing, a white nationalist or a white supremacist. This week, ESPN even let off one of its hosts who, with no more than a slap on the wrist for suggesting the president himself was a white supremacist. So by whose definitions are we going for? And who does it exactly use as available resources mean? The president and his cabinet ostensibly have all resources available to them. The US military, trillions of dollars, three and a half years of power to which the president's subscribing. Personally, I believe sunlight is the best disinfectant for hateful beliefs, and I agree. The US Constitution is perfectly clear on this too. No matter how vile your views, as those of the KKK and neo-Nazi groups are, you still have the right to express them in America. The fact that the Supreme Court had to readdress this fact only earlier this year has how bring out enough of assault on liberty that we are about to witness. The five-page document the president is now committed to signing refers violence on the side of the neo-Nazi protesters, but fails to mention Antifa, and I have checked that is true, and any other leftist-inspired violence, including but not limited to the Bernie Sanders supporter who recently attempted to murder Republican congressmen. It demands signatories speak out against hateful groups and espionage racism, extremism, xenophobia, anti-Semitism and white supremacy. All the isms that you could possibly imagine. Perhaps the most insidious part of this document comes right at the end, where the president will accede to ensure that heads of other federal agencies improve the reporting of hate crimes and emphasis the importance of collection and reporting of Federal Bureau of Investigation of hate crime data by state and local agencies. Given the precedent set in Europe for the monitoring and prosecution of so-called hate crimes, it should be a grave concern that the White House has been so readily bounced into endorsing the idea recently rejected by the Supreme Court of limiting speech and the freedom of assembly. Now guys, obviously a little part of this I have managed to cut out just because of the fact that it was going to go too long. But at the end of the day, guys, trust me from someone who has lived in countries where these hate speech laws actually are in place, it is the worst thing America can do for the First Amendment. 
It will not just be used for white supremacists and neo-Nazis. It will also be used for Pol, Kekistan and those sort of places which are large Trump bases. This is a way that the left will be used to attack the Trump base and, 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 and basically arrest people or silence people um, who have different opinions than the alt-left. Not to mention the fact that it doesn't mention Antifa or Black Lives Matter or any of those sort of groups that readily practice violence. It is also a very bad sign as well. And guys, that's why I think that the media has blown up this whole let's get everybody focusing on this DACA deal. The DACA, it is a distraction. Do not pay attention to DACA. Look at this instead. The media is hyping up DACA because they want people focused on that. They don't want people focused on this. The Charlottesville Resolution is a way of them attacking your First Amendment laws, basically attacking Trump supporters' base, and basically using laws to go through and to restrict freedom of speech. Trust me, from someone who has lived in a country with hate speech laws, you do not want them. They are a complete joke. But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Do, have you heard about this? Or, or has this gone under your radar? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Also guys, I'm going to ask you, share the shit out of this video. Tell everybody. We have to get people focusing on this rather than DACA. DACA is a distraction. Let people know about this. Get people focused on this. And hopefully we can get this changed and or Trump not to sign it. Hopefully. But guys, apart from that, if this video has been helpful, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. And apart from that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great night and enjoy.